If you've watched my video on the MoFi 4500 router, here are instructions to set it up. Connect your computer to the MoFi with a network cable using one of the four available LAN ports. Do not use the WAN port. Insert an active SIM card for your cell service. After you've connected your MoFi router, go to 192.168.10.1 in your browser. Now it's recommended that you use Internet Explorer, not Edge or possibly Firefox, but uh, you don't want to use the newer Edge browser. It potentially could corrupt your uh, MoFi settings. When you come to this page, the default username is root, and you want to use admin for the password. That is the default. It comes to the main screen here, and the first thing you want to click on is the wizard. This is going to walk you through some of the basic setup. So the first thing it's going to ask you is what router password do you want to use? So I'm going to use password. Don't use password. Hit next. Then it asks for a country, and in this case I'm picking the United States. And I'm going to leave the access point set to auto. Hit next. Generally you leave the in only, but if you do have older devices you can choose the in slash g. I'm going to leave that alone. You can pick a name for your Wi-Fi connection. Let's call it MoFi. And we'll leave the security the default. Let's just pick password again. This does not have to be the same as your router login password. Hit next and finish. That does a quick reboot, so we'll skip ahead. It returns you to the MoFi login. We're going to put in our password again. And it returns us to the main page. Now we're going to click on this MoFi internal modem. On the provider selector tab, choose your cell carrier. In my case, it's AT&T. And that does a reboot of the router a second time. It returns you to the login page where we're going to put in our password again and log in. Now go to the MoFi internal modem section. You should see your SIM ID and your phone number. If you don't, then you can do a reset of those settings, and I'll show you that in a second here. But for now, we're going to go ahead and pick from the list the AT&T broadband in my case. But you can see from the list of choices here what you have available. Once you've made that selection, click Save, and it's going to reboot the router once again. And if you have any problems with this step, you can click here to reset the module. You can reset your phone number, SIM ID, and you can do a carrier net mask fix up. Choose those options if the other choices do not seem to work for you. Once you've saved those settings, it may reboot. If it doesn't, that's okay. We're going to go back over here to the band scanner and start the scan. This will determine all of the different bands available for your carrier and your location. And you can see from the list that band 2, 4, 5, and 12 are available, but band 30 is not available. So I'm going to click over here to band lock, and I'm going to choose band 2 from the list, hit next, and then hit finish to reboot. And it returns you back to the login page once again. At this point, you should have internet access, so I'm going to go ahead and run speedtest.net and do a scan to see what kind of speed I'm receiving right now. And you can see I'm getting 30 megabit. You can go back to your MoFi login again. And go back to your MoFi internal modem settings. And choose band lock. And select 
the next available band that we found in that list if you're not satisfied with the connection speed of your first one. Walk through the different bands, see which one works the fastest, and then leave it on that setting once you're happy. And that's how you do the configuration for the MoFi. If you have difficulty connecting, make sure that the SIM card is plugged in the right way. Make sure that you've got the right carrier lock chosen from the list. And once they work, you'll be able to connect all of your devices to the Wi-Fi hotspot and make it work through your cell carrier. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.